Hey you guys, it's Kelly France and today is Thrift Thrifted Thursday and this is our very first live video in the fashion forum. I'm so excited. I had to share some tips with you guys because I just went thrift shopping yesterday and uh, I took my daughter. We always go every year for school shopping because she has a kind of a she has a budget and she is a smart girl and knows that she can get the most bang for her buck with the budget that we give her. So she goes, uh, we go to our favorite thrift store and that's where we went yesterday and I actually found this fabulous dress. Let me show you. This is my super cute dress that I found while I was helping her shop. You know, gotta get a little something something for yourself, right? So um, I found this fun dress for only 10 bucks. I was so excited. But I wanted to share some of the finds that I got and also give you guys some of my best thrift store tips because I have a lot of people say, I wish I could go thrift, shop thrift shopping with you. You always find the best stuff. So I'm going to give you some of my best tips, but I got to show you some of my other finds. I found this cute um, Old Navy Wonderlust shirt and these like cheetah print Aeropostale jeans for my sale. These were six bucks. Um, and then these killer wedges. Are those not adorable? And then my daughter found this um, Paris crop top. And she found, this is the fav her favorite thing she got was this Forever 21 kind of like boho sh feminine shirt. Um, she got these killer gap, uh, they're like active wear pants and they have these cool knees and zippers these are these look awesome on her um this fun stone washed pink jeans and some white basic skinny jeans um and these leopard gap shoes so she got a ton more but i'm not going to show you at all i don't want to bore you but i am going to share my best tips so tip number one for when you're thrift shopping is to know thyself like it really helps to kind of have an idea of what your style is. And if you don't know, try to think of one word on how you want to feel. So um, how do you want to feel when you go out? Like think of just one word and, or have your friends describe your style in one word. Hello, Erin and Clarissa, thanks for joining. Um, so, so be thinking of one word or t a couple words. So like for me, my style, I've always said, even when I was a teenager, I used to always say, my style is classy but sassy. Like I like to have kind of classy basics, but you know, like these, these sassy wedges that I got, um, you know, these are, I, I throw in some sassy stuff too. So my style is classy but sassy. My daughter describes her style as funky and spunky. She definitely has a little bit of edge to her style and the clothes she wears. So we kind of go in there knowing that and, and we're looking for things uh, to fit our personal style. I also know a lot of what I don't like. So start paying attention to the clothes that you're just really never drawn to, even if they're cute or popular or trendy. Um, for me, I'm not in love with, po with polka dots. Like I just... Um, I just don't do polka dots or ruffles. Those are just not my thing. And then I've noticed that I don't wear a lot of collar shirts. I do have a couple, um, but I don't wear them a lot. So those are some of the things that I just kind of skip over because I generally don't end up loving those things. Um, so kind of fig start to figure out your style and, and ask your friends maybe to describe your style. So, and then you have to go in there with the mindset that you are on a treasure hunt, like, it, that's, I think that's what I love about thrift shopping is that it's like a treasure hunt, you know? Um, but treasure hunts take time and effort. So you've got to really kind of search through each item and, and you're, I'm constantly flipping through the hangers. And, um, so I, I recommend that you look through your style. I mean, your size, make sure you're shopping in your size. Cause sometimes it's easy to just, you know, Thrift stores are so big, right? That um, it's, right, Julia? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and Melissa, thrift shopping is just so fun. Um, but they, it can be overwhelming because some thrift stores are really big. And so the key is kind of hone in, like start with the one section and make sure you're in your right size. 
Otherwise, you're going to be wasting your time. Um, so start searching through the section. And I go, and I'm pretty fast, and I kind of dig through, and I look for, like, a nice color. I look for three things. I look for um, color, cut, and brand. So I'll just kind of flip through and, you know, see if it has a nice color. Um, I don't like to wear green or yellow. Those don't look on a, good on me. Um, so I skip those. Uh, and if it has a nice cut, you can usually tell, like, these jeans that Susanna got. Um, where did I put them? The gray ones. These have, I knew these had a nice cut. You can tell by a lot of the seams and the lines on it. Like, these have a really nice cut. They're going to be flattering because of the way that they're sewn. So um, that really helps, too. So kind of be looking through those things. And um, But, yeah, you're going to have to look through one by one. And, and then I just throw stuff in. Like, I'm not super selective at the beginning. So by the end of my, um, of my treasure hunt, I have an entire cart full of clothes, which is a little, again, overwhelming. In fact, by the end of it, Savannah and I were like, dude, that was exhausting. Like, we were totally tired and wiped out. We're like, shopping is like, oh, it's exhausting. Um, but so fun. So um, I, so yeah, by the end, I've got a huge cart. And, and then you have to try on the clothes, right? Because some clothes look better on the hanger than they do on you. And vice versa. Some clothes look awesome on you and they don't look that good on the hanger. So make sure you try them on. And when you're trying them on, um, that you, that number two, or that it, look for two things. Number one, that it's flattering, because I don't care how cute or trendy it is, if it does not flatter your figure, do not buy it, okay? Um, and then make sure that it fits your style, because once again, if it doesn't fit your style, um, like, uh, there were some shoes that I saw there, but they had more of like an indie hipster look. And while I can so appreciate that look and I love it, it's not me. Like I'm not, I don't have that, that style. So I thought they were so cute and I had some, I was thinking of girlfriends that would love them, but that's not me. So I didn't end up getting some of those shoes. So make sure that they also fit your style, even if they're on sale. You know, that's the hard part is you're at a thrift store and you're like, this is only $3. Um, but you just have to make sure that they fit and they fit your stuff. And then my final tip is that if you, and this is actually, uh, I was watching Blindside, the uh, Blindsided, Blindside. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about, that football movie with Sandra Bullock. And she was like, if you don't love it at the store, then you're not going to love it at home. That's how she said it. And I was like, it's a great tip for when you're shopping because you love it at the store the most. So you have to be almost obsessed with whatever you, you see at the store. And if you're not obsessed with it, don't buy it because it's just going to sit in your closet and take up space. So I always try to make sure, like, my mom always says, do you love, love, love it? So you got to make sure you're, like, obsessed with it and that you love, love, love it and at the store because if you don't, then you probably won't end up wearing it at home. So those are some of my best thrift store tips that I was thinking of as I was shopping yesterday with my daughter. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I would love to see um, some of your thrift finds in the comments below. Post some of your, post some pics of something maybe you got at a consignment store, or a thrift store, or even a garage sale. We would love to see some of your best finds. So thanks for watching, you guys. And we'll see you later. Bye.